Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. In this video series, we'll continue our discussion of result sets in Maximo Manage, and we're going to take a look at the security access required. The security access is not only to enable the creation of the result set portlet, but also importantly, the report object structures, making sure that that is available to the user so they can bring in fields from multiple objects. Great, here I am in Maximo Manage 8. I'm signed in as my business analyst on my start center. So what we wanna do is build this result set utilizing the report object structure we created previously. And that report object structure is going to enable us to bring in attributes or fields from multiple related objects. So as a reminder, let's go over to our object structure application and take a look at that report object structure we created. I bookmarked it. So you can see over here, it's in our work order demo report object structure. Its parent table is work order and it has two children, inspections and assets. When we create or we utilize a report object structure, the parent object must match the parent object of the application we're matching it to. So for example, this object is work order, that's the parent object of work order tracking, so I could only create a result set using work order tracking. I couldn't try to use this report object structure, for example, in the purchase order application. It couldn't bring in any of the queries or related records. So again, work order demo ROS. So let's go back home to our start center and utilizing the portlet that I had previously added, I'm gonna select the edit button. What's our application? I'm gonna leave this by default for now. Let's go over here to application, whoa track. Perfect, let's bring that in. And as soon as I do that, wow, this is so powerful. It automatically tells me what my default object structure is and it brings in those child objects. Child objects that as you can see as I navigate from my available fields, I can bring in any available fields from the job plan child object on my result set. These are only the child objects again that are single cardinality. Well, I don't wanna use these. I wanna create my content with my work orders that have some inspection information. And because I don't have inspection here, let me look on the lookup and see if it's there. I don't see the report object structure I created. And the reason for that is, is I didn't grant security access to it. So let's come over here to report administration. No, I don't wanna save my changes and make that or enable that security access. How do I do that? My report administrator or an admin with access to this application is gonna come down to this action to set report object structure security. These are all the report object structures that have been created. I'm gonna come in here and do a filter. Let's look at work order. Excellent. And notice here's my um, report object structure and I can see who has access to it below. This is the one that I had created, but nobody has access to it. So I need to grant that access. To do that, I click on the plus button and now I go to the lookup. And now the people that I will see or the security groups, excuse me, that I will see are only those security groups that have report access to work order tracking. So I'm gonna grab my business analyst and now select okay. So again, I could grant other security groups access to that, but now I just want my business analyst. So now let's go back and try to repeat that functionality. Click on the edit button. What's my application? It's woe track. Perfect. It's bringing in the default object structure, report object structure. There is no way to set what that default is in Maximo. It just happens to be, I believe, alphabetical order. But this is the one that we created that we want to bring in, work order details with our asset and inspection form. Fantastic. So again, the reason why I was not seeing 
that report object structure initially is because I didn't grant access to it in the report admin set report security access. That's really important to make sure that that displays. And then once that's available, I'll be able to build my result set. And we'll show you that in the next demonstration. Thank you very much for your time as we explore the result set functionality.